Hi, I'm Justin Joyner with Beneteau. We are at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show and we're launching two new boats from Beneteau, the Gran Turismo 41 and the Gran Turismo 45. We're going to take you through both boats, show you some of the features, benefits and differences to the two new models. We're going to start with the GT41. This is a great new layout for us. We have redesigned the entire cockpit area, uh, starting with this great lounge area for hanging out in an anchorage, hanging out dockside, very comfortable. This seat will move forward and backwards. If you're swimming, this is an electric platform that will drop into the water. We like to call it the teak beach. And it will drop in. You, you really aren't gonna put a dinghy on here, but it's great for swimming, whether it's kids or just hanging out at, uh, at the side of a, uh, a beach or, uh, or in an anchorage. It's a conversational boat because you've got great seating, lots of different places to, to lounge. The U-shaped area is, is, is an opposed layout, so if you're sitting here, you're sitting across from your guests, this is a table that will flip out, that, uh, that if you've got a big meal, it's great to, great to flip this out. Uh, you've got a lot of different, uh, different places to be comfortable. This is one of three uh, fabric choices we offer on the new Gran Turismo 41 and 45. This is the Vita fabric. It's really nice to the touch, comfortable. And uh, one of the things we like about this is in the more humid climates, you're not sticking to the side of your, your, uh, your cushions. Obviously, we do offer the, the marine vinyl. If, uh, if, if you're looking for that, that's our, uh, our Marlin Brilliant White. Another awesome feature on the new Gran Turismo 41 is this new wet bar. Got a great Kenyan cooktop, low smoke, no fire. Uh, it is uh, really easy and clean to, to cook some hot dogs and hamburgers. Obviously, we got the wet sink. Another feature on this boat is the optional ice maker. If you're on a uh, boat like this, you're doing a lot of entertaining. Having this uh, availability ice is a big deal. Trash. As we move up to the helm station, notice that this boat has the standard non-skid on the deck. We can do teak and we can do carpet. As we move up to the center helm, I love this feature on this boat. It instantly makes people comfortable. Uh, a lot of buyers of, of the new Gran Turismo 41 are coming out of day boats, center consoles. If, if you had a center console, you're instantly comfortable at this center helm station. And uh, the layout is just a work of art. You've got your twin engines. This is a diesel power boat with your joystick. There's an optional bow thruster. As we move down below in the Gran Turismo 41, this is a great functional space. And I think that it really differentiates our boats versus a lot of the other boats uh, in this particular market because of the functional use of space. A couple things I'd like pointing out is when you get down here, you're out of the elements. You still have enough room to have a meal, have breakfast in the morning. If it's raining, you're very comfortable out of the, uh, out of the elements. A lot of light down here. We've got the sunroof open but there's a lot of light in here. We've got the side windows. Another new feature on this boat is just how much light you get from, from the outside in. It's simple luxury. You could put fabric over all these ceiling panels, but because the way Beneteau builds our boats, we're able to put a one piece of fiberglass up there and it stays clean. You never have any sagging in the more moisture rich environments. It's simple and it's timeless. As you move here down into the, the seating areas, this is one of our base fabrics. You can do ultra leathers, you can do leathers. This is where you have the opportunity to personalize your boat if you're looking to custom order one of our, our Benetos. The wood is our Alpi Walnut. That is the only wood option on these boats, but it creates a really nice, airy, comfortable feeling. Another thing that really differentiates 
our boats is the ability to close off and have private space down here. If you're sleeping, if you're changing out of bathing suits, you've got a uh, aft cabin here that most often is, is for your kids, for your guests. There is a filler cushion that'll move in there that uh, if, you're, if you're looking to sleep uh, port to starboard instead of in the two single berths. You've got storage in all the little areas that you'll see either between the beds or on the port and starboard side. Really, really comfortable place to, uh, to, to put your guests. As we move forward, we've got a great head in here. One of the main features of this area is the ability to have a separate shower space so that when you are taking a shower on inside this boat, you're not getting your vanity wet. The functionality of this area is great. You've got storage. Notice the standard teak in the area here. Before we see the forward stateroom, I want to show off the galley. Starting with an excellent cooktop prep space, you've got the standard electric cooktop, TV. All our boats come pre-wired, so if you want to put the TV, this is the mount point. We have the microwave right in there. And then as we move below, check out all the functionality here. Got a very useful trash, storage, check out the soft clothes, cabinetry, and then over here is your 12 volt fridge. I love that this is a 12 volt fridge because what it allows you to do is when you're away from the dock, you don't have to have the generator run in to keep your food cold. So now as we move into the forward stateroom, we reveal a really, really nice sleeping space. I love that this bed arrangement has steps so you can get up into bed easily. It's a comfortable space. Again, you see the, the overhead is, is clean. Lots of natural light comes in here. You have reading lights and USB ports back there. A really comfortable, cozy place to spend your evenings. As great as this space is down below, you buy a boat like this to be outside. So let's check out some of the other features. Starting with this hard top. I love showing this off because it's all one piece and it's a, a great piece that uh, they, they got all the shapes right in the Beneteau design department. As we round the transom, I'm gonna move up on deck these deck sides are symmetrical, super easy to move forward. You've got a, grab, a great grab rail. Notice as you're moving forward, you can't find a single seam, single caulk line. This is part of Beneteau engineering. We build these boats as a production-based boat, so you have to have as few parts as possible. And, and it really shows off in a, in a nicely fitted and final product here. As we move forward, you've got this bonus space. Whether you're at an anchorage, want to read a book, check out how this works. You've got two flip-ups. And then this bimini will flip up. This is part of our four deck package that you can equip these boats. You put these down, and you've got just a great place to get out from the sun, but have the wind in your face. So that was a quick tour of the new Gran Turismo 41. Also want to show you the next size up, the Gran Turismo 45, has a lot of unique features that differentiate itself from, from this boat. Let's jump on board and take a look. As we leave the Gran Turismo 41, we get a chance to get on the new Gran Turismo 45. I want to start first by talking about its actual true length. It's just over 48 feet long, so it's really putting this boat into another class, another level of capability. As we usually do, we start at the transom. Uh, this boat is equipped with the hydraulic swim platform, 
So it has a load limit of 770 pounds, giving you the option of having a jet ski, a wave runner, or a tender back here. As we move on board, this has got the great grill in the back of the boat. And for more toy storage, this flips up and reveals a tender garage or a place for paddle boards, water toys, keep the inflatable toys inflated after a long day, just put them away in there. Because this is a boat about being outside, we've got a great lounge area and the ability to really truly open this boat up and have that outdoor space. One of the real nice features about this boat is in those oppressive August days, you can close this boat up and have air conditioning on to keep the, the humidity out of here. But because this is an outdoor boat, you've got lots of entertainment space to entertain your friends and your guests. We've got cup holders integrated into the grab rails and the ability for the leaf to come out and reveal a bigger table. Another great feature on this boat, as you're accustomed to seeing on the 41, is the wet bar. You've got an ice maker, trash, and then the real party trick on this new Gran Turismo 45 is the TV that pops out of the port side here. This new hardtop space is 45 square feet and it really opens up this area when you open this up, the rear door, windows, you've got a lot of breeze coming through. At this helm station, this boat is equipped with the IPS 600 drive system. So you've got your joystick, your twin throttles. Bow thruster is standard on this boat. People ask a lot, why do you put a bow thruster on a boat that has IPS? Well, in a lot of the more shallow areas of the country, it's really convenient to have this bow thruster to move the bow around instead of kicking up all the all the thrust that the drives and the propellers will in, uh, in those shallow, shallow areas. After many hours out on the water, it's really nice to have a boat that you can go down below and have some private space in a luxurious and comfortable environment. Come on down and let's uh, check this out. Starting in the forward stateroom, this is a really cool area that can be, uh, be great for guests. It has a scissor bed set up. So you flip these out and you've got two singles or they flip together and as, as we've, we're showing it here, it's a big full-size sleeping area. Storage to port and starboard. Again, a great theme on these new Gran Turismos is all the natural light that you get. So you see these big windows. I love how the Beneteau designers backlit everything to really create a nice environment. The finish work all the Beneteau cabinetry. Great air conditioning down here. As we move aft, we show off the first of two heads. What's great about this space is you've got a separate shower, lots of overhead height. Big feature on a boat when you're getting to this size is you can have a separate toilet area from the shower. Next to the shower, we've got this great vanity area with the bowl sink. Look at how the hardware is all next level. As we move to the starboard side of the boat, you've got this great cozy seating area to, uh, to lounge down, down below deck. This boat actually can have an optional third stateroom that partitions this area off and creates bunk beds if you're really looking to have maximum sleeping capacity on board this boat. So this is just opposite of the galley, which you have down here. Great countertop space, all Corian. 
you've got storage and your microwave up here all storage prep space down below here but the big feature is this huge refrigeration and freezer space so before we move out on deck we've got one more space to show off this massive full beam stateroom one of the advantages of having a boat that has the Volvo IPS drive system is it allows us to put the engines very far aft in the boat revealing this massive space you've got great visibility out the side windows it provides a lot of natural light this ends up being a very nice private space with your own private head so again a big advantage of this Gran Turismo 45 over the 41 is that second head that is part of the aft stateroom. Again, vessel sink, vanity, lots of great storage. So let's go out on deck and check out some of the, uh, the foredeck features. As we move up onto the foredeck, hey, check out the metallic gray paint. That's a new hallmark of the new Gran Turismo line is, is all these nice painted surfaces. Big wide side decks, high rails. A subtle feature on these new boats is, is just how high this side is. It gives a real safe feeling when you're moving up on deck. So just like on the Gran Turismo 41, we have the sides that lounge up and the bimini to create some nice shade. I love how easy it is just to deploy this and drop it back down. So you end up being able to put it up, take it down multiple times a day. It's not a project. While you're up here, it reveals that massive one piece window. And uh, that's part of the Part of the program when you're buying one of our Gran Turismos is outward visibility. You have the ability to see out, but you don't have all the Isinglass, all the canvas that you have to deploy every time you take the boat out. You end up opening the top, closing the top, closing the back windows, and you're done for the day. This wraps up the walkthrough of the new Gran Turismo 41 and 45 from Beneteau. We'll have a lot of these new boats joining us around the country at the local Beneteau dealers. Schedule a time to visit the boats in person and experience just how wonderful these new boats are.